Hello guys, welcome back to another one In the Sirocco yet again and this was the race where there was a shitload of complaints all throughout the community but the smart drivers would have had a bit of a practice and would have quite quickly realized the way to do this race the quickest way um, a lot of guys seem to think it's cheating it is quite simply in my opinion you're wrong it is not cheating at all as we get tapped in the back end around the first corner but we'll have survived but Gran Turismo have made a huge blunder we did see this coming from a couple of months back a couple of months back there was a a series race where I, I can remember saying the guys on the mic that if the tire were had have been more reasonable than what it was then it would have been quicker to accept the 20 second penalty for not using all the compounds that you're supposed to use and we have been keeping our eye open for them making this mistake and sure enough it did come and a lot of guys picked up on it like ourselves in realizing that the the compulsory tires in this one was you must use soft mediums and hard tires during the race although it is a 20 second pit loss to do a pit stop and you receive a 20 second penalty for ignoring the rules so the smart guys will have known that you're, it is much faster to accept the 20 second penalty rather than obey the rules and go in and do it, it was easily 15 to 20 seconds faster overall to ignore these rules that they've made in this race so a lot of guys choosing to do exactly what we've done we've we've had to do it as well we we, we would have actually preferred it if it wasn't possible because it has made us slightly less competitive the wee Sirocco was absolutely fantastic in qualifying here it felt outstanding very competitive in qualifying although during the race anybody else in any other car who wanted to just stay on the soft tires for the whole race was at a much greater advantage than ourselves if everyone had of had of had to stick to the rules I think hopefully this will never happen again hopefully they will now change this 20 second penalties or the 20 second penalty and they will just state if you break the rules you get disqualified they don't have to punish you with SR or DR punishment I uh, plain and simple disqualification with a DNF would be satisfactory to sort out and this will never happen again hopefully I'm, I'm sure it's been embarrassing it, it has to have been embarrassing for them a lot of us have seen this coming for a while with the settings that they've made now we're hanging on to second at the moment so yes our, our strategy in this here one then was to ignore the medium tires and ignore the hard tires and we were just going to stay on the soft tires and do a one-stop strategy on the another set of soft tires and accept the 20 second penalty which was a lot faster for us overall still clinging on the second tier and Mr. OMC 
making his way up to us. <clears throat> but just because of this strategy, it actually made us slightly less competitive than what we would have been if everyone had to do the proper compounds because there was a lot of cars here that looked after their soft tyres. It was an easy one stop I would expect for almost every other car on the soft tyres and able to maintain a good pace whereas for us we we struggled even to keep we at one point did think should we have an eight lap stint on a set of mediums instead of a set of softs because the mediums were lasting us a lot better so as i say it made us slightly less competitive all round but it, it had to be done as i say if you're it is not cheating in my opinion i feel like anyone who does think it is cheating is quite simply you're wrong you are thinking of it the wrong way you are accepting the consequences of not obeying the rules it happened stuff like this will happen in, in, in real life smart smart teams will come up with ways around the rules especially if there's a silly room like this you see it happening in, in Formula 1 races all the time you, you see guys having a, a poor qualifying not not qualifying in, in the top 10 which allows them to start on a different compound of tyres or you see some guys starting the race from the pit lane which allows them to start on a different set of tyres which some people may feel that it's unfair but it is allowed and that is the whole problem very silly of Gran Turismo to not have any kind of idea that this stuff is going to happen it's um, quite lucky for them that it's happened here and not at a, a top 16 event or, or a live event or something that was uh, is going to embarrass them a lot more so hopefully now this will never be able to happen again they should be well aware of it now and as I say I, I would much prefer instead of this 20 second penalty just disqualify people who don't do it it may be very harsh on people who do not realize that you have you have to use a certain compound of tires but it will only be harsh to one time once they make that mistake they will no longer make that mistake again still clinging on starting to struggle with the tire wear in this one we'll have a small skip as we are on our own as we skip on round and we wanted to get 8 laps out of this first set of tyres and you can see now we're, we're struggling big time on our soft tyres you see other cars will not have an anywhere near this kind of tyre wear a lot of guys actually able to do a no stopper it was impossible for us to do the no stopper as um the fuel no matter how much we drove on fuel saving mode and short shifting this wee car was not capable of doing a no stopper we had to come in for fuel you see we're getting very nervous losing a lot of time on this in lap all these guys coming up behind us we're just happy to survive and get round into the pits in we come and out on another set of softs and we come out in 8th position 
behind Mr. Hazenberg. <clears throat> so yeah, a lot of controversy in the community around this one. I guess we all have our own opinions on whether it is it is cheating. Although my opinion is that if you were smart enough in the brain to realize that this is the way to do it if there's a formula one race tomorrow gentlemen and the formula one guys make these rules you can be sure that any smart formula one team does this strategy and they cannot be punished for it because the rules are already there the punishment is the 22nd penalty you have accepted that punishment you're well aware that you're going to be punished so you're sticking to the rules on we go with another skip we're up into sixth at the moment and we were hoping for a top five in this one because it has been a long time from we have received a top five and the team throws a pit party for the top five and we usually win a wee livery a new sexy livery from Mr. Tom aka Blue Ukulele for a top five finish and we had not won a livery for a long time they were starting to build up in Tom's garage he needed to get rid of them and we were hoping that we could sneak a livery in this race if we can manage to get up into that top five this race was also very very confusing the most confusing race I've been in we had three three tries at this and in none of these races were we aware exactly of how the race was going for us in a race you're usually aware of where your battle is whether you're in a battle for the top five is it a battle for the top ten this race was just very very confusing you never had an idea of exactly what battle you were in because you knew that you were taking 20 seconds of a penalty at the end so you didn't know who else was receiving the 20 second penalties who was obeying the rules and who wasn't up into the top five on with a skip here lap 12 of 15 we shall continue with the skip and there's three to go three laps to go we've got a bit of a gap behind us and we're up in the fourth someone else must have came in for the pit stop and fourth place it is and we're on for the pit party and a new livery at the moment and a possible bottle of bubbly maybe right in front of us as well we've now got the Frenchman Mr. Ari making his way up behind us and in previous efforts at this as well would would receive a, a cheeky wee nudge that had punted us off out into the sand from guys who as our tires started to wear they just got frustrated behind us as we were parking that big slow ass on the apex perfectly legally and they had nowhere to go so then they just resorted to ramming us out off the track and that's how our previous race went down and yet again in this one let's have a skip round we don't seem to be able to get any closer to our third place and our tires is getting slower and slower as we go the last lap now and the Frenchman Mr. Aura is on our ass 
and we're going to defend this and you see how slow we are we're having to park that car as best we can on the apexes and just hopefully they've nowhere to go he threatens to take him up the inside there we'll go over and squeeze him and manage to put him off there and again we're on the apex there's nowhere for him to go perfectly legal but we were terrified at this point especially after what had happened to us in our previous attempt we were basically driving just like this in our previous attempt struggling with the tires but perfectly legally parking it on the apexes when the guy behind us just got frustrated and decided you're too slow we're going to ram you off the track he did apologize after it and and said it was totally his fault and stuff but again guys if you if you do that stuff then the apology should not be coming after the race the apology comes on the track immediately after you do that poor piece of driving you lift off and that is a clear appropriate apology you don't take advantage of that stuff and then decide i'll apologize after the race so we managed to get ourselves a top four and hopefully none of us will have any more arguments about this one in the future guys that should not happen again no matter what way you fall on the argument thank you We'll catch you in the next one.